Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing we will be studying SCP-2618-J. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item Number SCP-2618-J Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures the five known trees that produce SCP-2618-J are to be kept in an open-air arboreal habitat of Site-59. To minimize the risk of a hubris event, watering and other maintenance operations of the trees are to be carried out through an automated system. Description SCP-2618-J is a banana cultivar that originated from the former French colony of Re in its appearance and genetic makeup, SCP-2618-J is indistinguishable from the common Cavendish banana. SCP-2618-J's anomalous effects surface when a human subject makes visual contact with an individual SCP-2618-J fruit. The subject will invariably perceive the banana to be an item the subject needs to accomplish a future or pre-existing goal. This has been designated a hubris event. The perception can only be broken through the following means. One. A different human subject will remind the affected subject that SCP-2618-J is a banana. 2. The affected subject attempts to use SCP-2618-J as they had originally intended. SCP-2618-J first came to the attention of the Foundation after a failed assassination attempt of United States Senator On December 20th, a radical animal rights activist named Kevin Jarvis had charged the stage at a campaign rally and attempted to shoot the senator point-blank, only to discover that his pistol was actually an instance of SCP-2618-J. While major news outlets gave a cover story of the attack being an unusual prank, a 40-page manifesto was discovered in Mr. Jarvis's apartment detailing his desire to assassinate the senator in retaliation for his alleged track record of animal cruelty. Addendum Incident 2618-J- on April 19th, during the initial containment efforts of SCP-2618-J, a Keter-class amphibian entity, after several unintentional hubris events on the part of security staff, SCP has been designated uncontained and reclamation efforts are underway. Incident 2618-J- Redacted. Hubris event 2. Begin log. Dr. Naismith is giving Dr. Collins CPR. Sergeant Redacted is present. It's not working! I think the <laughs> Venom's in his system! He needs a defibrillator! Already got one. Open his shirt. Dr. Naismith opens Dr. Collins' shirt. Charging! Keep it the pumping! That's not a defibrillator! Sergeant Redacted notices that he is holding two instances of SCP-2618-J. Five seconds of radio silence. Let's never speak of this again. End log. Warning. Level 4, 2618-J, clearance required. Yes, we have no credentials. Credentials accepted. SCP-2618-J has been declared uncontained as of April 22nd when the automated watering and maintenance systems were revealed to have been independent instances of SCP-2618-J all along. The five SCP-2618-J trees were never brought to Site-59 from their original plantation in as the recovered trees were also instances of SCP-2618-J all along. Final containment efforts of SCP-2618-J are to be carried out via autonomous drones as soon as possible. Should the drones return with independent SCP-2618-J instances rather than the actual trees, contingency Fook Dith Shet Alpha is to be enacted as soon as possible. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.